Imagine a new development with zero carbon emissions. That's what they're trying to accomplish here at the Climate Innovation District in Leeds, England. My name is Ben Hitchings, and I'm here to find out how the Situ Company is working to eliminate its carbon footprint. Located on a 22-acre brownfield site, the Climate Innovation District spans both sides of the River Air. At build-out, the project will include more than a thousand homes, as well as office space, a senior care facility, and a primary school. Situ's Managing Director, Jonathan Wilson, describes Situ's mission to visiting management consultant and great game of business coach, Anne Claire Broughton. So our mission is about how we support cities in tackling um, the biggest challenge of our generation, the climate emergency. And where we're, where we're here today is, is in the middle of the Climate Innovation District, one of our flagship exemplar projects. Situ's strategy for reducing environmental impacts begins with community design. Six acres of urban gardens and connected green space are linked by a walkway that forms a central spine through the project. In addition, the district is just a 12-minute walk from the heart of downtown Leeds via a multi-use path along the river. Cars are parked underground to encourage human-powered travel. Innovation District Development Manager Phoebe Nickel describes Situ's approach. Right from the start of our build process, we're designing things that are environmentally friendly. So whether that be removing as many cars from the landscape or right from sort of the building itself, um, we build really airtight um, homes. The houses are built with super insulated timber framed construction. This enables each home to store 23 tons of carbon, prevent the release of 88 tons of CO2, and retain heat in the winter three times better than the average modern house. The buildings as a whole use up to 10 times less energy than the average home in the United Kingdom. To save money and reduce waste, Situ fabricates many of the building components in its own factory. Plant manager Dean Rollins explains some of the environmental features of the manufacturing process. We are looking at shredding all our wood waste, uh, which will generate an income, and it'll also reduce our, our timber going out of the yard uh, to zero, because it can all be sold. We've got rid of every, everything what runs on a on a fuel system, so everything in the factory is electric. We run the factory for free off our solar panels on the roof, which are solar panel both sides, and we also feed next door uh, with their electricity at a cost to them. Situ is also using smart design on the interior of its buildings to reduce its environmental impact. It used natural materials, floor-to-ceiling triple glazed windows, sensor-controlled LED lighting, and other features to create the first net-zero carbon office building in Yorkshire. It even includes a rooftop terrace for recreational activities. In addition, Situ uses a special management approach called the Great Game of Business to engage its employees in a continuous pursuit of new improvements. GGOB coach Anne Claire Broughton explains. It's an operating system in which employees think, feel, and act like owners. We give employees basic financial literacy education, and then we teach them how the business makes money and generates cash. And most importantly, we draw a line of sight between what individuals do every day and the numbers. The purpose of, of our business is about how we support cities to take that transition to, to a, a future that's sustainable, um, that minimises if not reduces or, or eliminates carbon. Where we're stood right this, this moment in time is, is actually in the heart of the district. It's, it sits within a central spine that, that actually is, forms the, the, the centrepiece for um, this emerging community of, um, yeah, people who, who are ready to, to join us on our journey.